In 2025, the Kennedy is almost ready to join the fleet. One of the biggest breakthroughs is EMALS, the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System. Forget the old steam catapults that stressed both planes and crews. Now, with EMALS, aircraft get a smooth acceleration, reducing wear on the airframe and allowing launches of not just heavy fighters, but also light, unmanned systems. Working alongside it is AAG, Advanced Arresting Gear, a modern landing system that replaces outdated hydraulic arresters. The result? This ship can put up to 160 sorties per day, and in combat mode, up to 270. That's a 30% increase over the Nimitz class. And that's not all. The way weapons move has changed, too. Modern elevators no longer rely on cables and hydraulics. They use electromagnetic systems that shuttle missiles and bombs from below-deck magazines to the flight deck twice as fast, cutting reload times and increasing the tempo of strikes. Inside, it's practically a small city. Automation has trimmed the crew by about 800 people, a savings that will amount to billions of dollars over decades. At the same time, life for sailors has improved. More space, better berthing, and higher quality food. What about the ship's eyes and ears? It carries the Enterprise Air Surveillance Radar, EASR, a multifunction system that can spot aircraft, missiles, and surface contacts. It's scalable and built to integrate with future sensors. 